<clears throat> Hi everybody, um, let me know in the comments, let me know in the chat box if any of you can hear me. I repeat, if any of you can hear me, just type in the chat box with your in the chat box with your response. All right. Hi everybody, this is Black Rhino Ranger. Welcome to yet another very great live stream by of Black Rhino Ranger. And um, for this in this occasion, we're focusing on the Western astrology constellations, the Western zodiac, which includes Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. I'll explain what the other one at the bottom is later. Um, um, so, and for this occasion, um, I want the people, if you want me to request anything, all you gotta do is ask, is, um, ask me uh, which character you want me to draw that represents uh, these symbols. Now, now, in most mythologies, the the zodiac signs, they kind of represent these types of symbols, these are figures. For example, Aquarius is often said to be a water bearer or carrier. And Pisces is often represented as a fish, Aries a ram, Taurus a bull, Gemini as twins, Cancer as a crab, Leo as a lion, Virgo as um, a maiden or a young unmarried woman, at least that's what the old, the, the old ages say. Um, Libra, the wing scales, Scorpio, either a scorpion or a few other animals, which I'll be talking about later, Sagittarius, the archer, and Capricorn, the goat. So which, which, um, carrot, okay, let's start off with Aquarius. I want, pe I want you guys to request me any character that represents Aquarius. Now, if, if, if you don't have anything to request, just ask me anything. Hey, ask me any question. And if you like, you can use the super chats if you want to donate anything. And if, let's see. Um, hmm, so let's see. Um, hmm. Um, Um, so who could be, who could be, what's a water carrier? Just a man, just somebody carrying a bucket of water or a pot of water or having a tank on his back, uh, a, bear, a character who basically carries a bucket of water, kind of like uh, Mickey Mouse from The Sorcerer's Apprentice. When he was, before he got his hands on the hat, he was carrying heavy buckets of water Hmm. Um, Aquaman's a bit tough. Let me. Um, let me see. Um, uh, which which version of Aquaman do you want? Do you want the uh, Justice League two thousand and one Justice League Aquaman? Do you want the Batman the Brave and the Bold Aquaman? Do you want the challenge of? Do you want the uh, Hanna Barbera Super Friends Aquaman? Which Aquaman do you want? Uh, what is Lakito? Let me have a Lakito. Hmm. Oh, that that um that racer that uh, flag character, the character who holds uh, the flag in the Mario Kart races. Hmm. Hmm, let's see. Um, I want Aquaman twenty eighteen. Oh, oh, that that one. You really want want me to draw that? Mother and I did not have a good time with that movie. Ugh, ugh. 
Sorry, this is just a bit of distaste coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Yeah, you, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll... Just, um... Now to show that this is true. Nope, 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 that's not it. There you go. So there you go, fellas. We have uh, uh, Lucky 2 riding on a riding on a very damp cloud. Now that now that would pro, now that would showcase that he is a water carrier. His cloud is full of water. <laughs> Okay, next stop is um, Pisces, the fish. Who, which, which character do you think is fishy enough to represent Pisces? <laughs> Why do the cloud has raindrops? I think it's something to do with water vapor. It's the 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 clouds they they evaporate. They take they evaporate. Um, the moisture from the atmosphere, from the air, and then over time they rain down. They rain down, creating fresh water. I mean, they evaporate from the sea or other places. I've learned this from science, but um, I don't know too much about it. Gilgrun, Dory, Nemo. Hmm. I have drawn Dory before, but uh, this is this is a little bit out of my style. Yo, know. okay, what was it? Mm.
let me just uh, I'm I'm gonna color her just for this occasion because I'm I am I don't think I did Dory right. Maybe I'm I have drawn her better before. Just uh, thought. There we go. There's my attempt, my other, my, I think it was my second or third attempt to draw Dory. There you go. <laughs> have you seen short sheep, have you seen sheep and wool, wolves? Huh. Well, let me look that up. Uh, no, I have not seen it. I haven't seen it. It's, uh, it's, uh, all I remember, all, actually, I did, I all, all I know from it is a Saber Sparks video, you know, the, what the, what the hell is a sheep and wolves movie? Is it a furry bait? <laughs> but I remembered, I remember a cartoon as a kid that had, um, that had a premise of, that had that focuses on a trio of sheep. It's called a uh, sheep with S H E E E P, and that also has wolves as the antagonist. I, I I remember watching this as a kid. It was something made in Britain, and it has um um let's see, it has um the wait is that is that what I think it is um. Oh yeah, the the first the it stars um the the one of the leading voice actress voice actors is the same woman who played uh, Ginger in Chicken Run, and an, and the other is um is a guy who has who has been known for doing a lot of British roles, but he's also voiced in uh, quite a number of American products. Like uh, in Skylander Swap Force, he's one of the Timekeeper rats. It's in the Tower of Time. Um, in the Tower Time Start um, Adventure Pack. Anyways, what was I? Um, Ares, Ares the Ram. Who's the, who's um, ready to hit some heads? Okay, what's with the whole Luigi Undead element thing? Okay, seriously, seriously. Um, I'm I'm putting you on a timeout because I I really because I don't think uh, putting him on a timeout. 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 It's just a, why are you spamming me with Luigi Undead? Thing. This is, has nothing to do with this. With this, it has nothing to do with this. Have you heard of the actor Roger Craig Smith? Wasn't he one of the Sonic the Hedgehog voice actors? I also know him in Skylanders as Boomjet and Bushwhack, and he was also in um, in, a, in in the recent Crash Bandicoot games as a Chick, one of the hosts for Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, and uh, he was also the voice of embryo in it's about time replacing maurice lamarche and tom kenny correct me if i'm wrong on that <laughs> well, let's see um happy goat from <laughs> indiana jones being chased by rams <laughs> hmm. is your skylander collection complete it, I think it is. I mean, the only thing I don't have is a uh, is a Heartbreaker Buckshot and the five uh, five um, Creation Crystals, but I heard they were unreleased. I kind of like Cinderscopes. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, when, when, am I, when am I supposed to be doing um, you know what? I might as well draw. Apparently, Mega Ram Spyro is also a uh, a and sort of an awakened is also used as an awakened variant in in is also used as as a. As an influence for his awakened form in Skylanders Ring of Heroes. Uh, 
Um, shouldn't Spyro's uh, horns be a little bit more um, more around his uh, his um, on the side of his head rather than on top of his head? I mean, that's what most rams are usually like, especially the bighorned sheep. Yeah, it took me a while, but I realized that rams are male sheep, and um, and female sheep are ewes. And by the way, fellas, um, in case you don't know, Aries is my sign. And I was born on the very last day of... I was born on the very last day of Aries. Just before Taurus. And there you go, we have... Use. I mean, E-W-E. -E. That's what I meant. Use. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to cross this off. Let me just do that. Okay, so who's a Taurus? Who's a charging bull? Hmm. Who's a charging bull? A bulldozer. I've heard that joke before as a kid. And your sign is Sagittarius. Ah, that's great. <laughs> um, um, should Rampage from Beast Wars Beast Mode be a Ram? You know, the name Rampage. <laughs> Perhaps. And there is also another Rampage in G1 Transformers. Rampage is a tiger. There is a ram in Beast Wars. It's his name is Ramulus. Yeah, you can get him as a toy. Wiley Coyote Boo, Frank from Cars, Ferdinand. I I kind of already did draw Ferdinand. This might be a surprise, but I was born on Appreciate a Dragon Day. When's that? When is? When 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 is Appreciate a Dragon Day? This one right here. Who lives in Spain? Okay, let's see. Uh, your sign is Cancer. Great. Just hope you can hope. Uh, just hope there's a cure for the other, for the for the thing that has a similar name. <laughs> has nothing to do with the crab. It's just that when somebody mentions that word, it's either a good thing or a bad thing. The good thing is that it's an astrology sign. The bad thing is because, uh... <sighs> hmm. January 16th. Oh, dang, I missed that. Anyways, what was that thing? Terrible. Oh. Huh. Wait, Robot Wars. I think I have heard about Robot Wars. Isn't isn't it that is it isn't it that uh, British uh, show? Oh, I did see one episode. There was one that had something that made it look like a that was that was named after a rhino, but it it didn't look quite like it didn't look like a rhino, but it was named after a rhino. And uh, this bull looks like he's a uh, he's like an anteater. No, he's so cute.
just want to include some little wheels. I'm not sure if the wheels are accurate to the original because they, by the looks of it, they look so tiny. Um, apparently, I just realized terrible is a ter is a is a pun on ter terrible. <laughs> Uh, admittedly, I'm a guy who's a so who's soft on puns. Yes, I will. I will. I try not to do them too much. Which only if I feel like if it's necessary, or if I wanna, if I wanna create a character and his name needs to be kind of unique. <laughs> In fact, Skylanders uses a lot of puns, but usually as their as a name of a character, like. Uh, uh, Cobra Cadabra, that's a pun on Abracadabra. Um, free Ranger, that's a play on Free Range, which is something a chicken can be raised in. Um, oh, um, it had ears. I didn't notice that. Brownish ears. Yeah, yeah I'll just add in. I'm only going to do this little bit of coloring. Usually I don't color, but um, I said this many times before, but I'm making an exception here because this one's quite simple to draw. All right, that's Taurus for you. Now who can represent Gemini? Who can represent the twins? Any tips for drawing? Yes, practice. Give yourself as many weeks, months, or years of drawing, and then and you'll get the hang of it. And it took me, it, I've been doing draw animation since, uh, I've been learning how to use Flash since 2006, and I've, and I've been animating for the internet since 2009. Um, Abra, you mean that, um, oh, you mean that giant crab from Godzilla? Not an easy creature to draw. I'm do I'm doing, I'm doing the classic -ish, the Showa uh, thing. I think that's the easiest to draw. The funny thing is, he he has um, two different claw sizes. Yes, he's kind of like a lobster and a fiddler crab. Either that or a pistol shrimp. I, I haven't seen I haven't seen what the crab could, what Ebra could do in the uh, Godzilla movies he he was in. 
It's a bit of a shame that he he wasn't playable. I mean, I only I only first knew about him to his unplayable role in Save the Earth. Um, I think it was supposed to be um, he was um, he was in the Godzilla underwater level where you're. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm doing, if I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm, usually when I do Godzilla or Angiris or Rodan or any of the, I'm, I might be off by a few, by a couple of details, but at least I try to make them as recognizable as possible. And he's a pretty simple guy, I'll just, I'll just do a minimal coloring. Let's give him some... There we go, we got Ebera. Oh wait, um, let me just add in a, a little bit more detail. Here we go, we get Ebera. <laughs> I try to find a picture, a picture for you. Um, a picture for what? Um, have you watched Power Rangers? I used to when I was a kid. <laughs> oh wait, um, I'm supposed, wait, did I? Oh, I went off Cree, I went off, I went off, whoops. <laughs> I went off. That okay. Eberwer was not meant to be Gemini. He was meant to be Cancer. Oops, I went off track. <laughs> um, what's your zodiac symbol? Aries. Now there's an interesting, another interesting note. Aquarius was supposed is a January to February sign and yet it says that Aries was the first to be recorded around March and April okay uh, ooh, ooh, hmm, hmm. Lisa and why Lisa and Lola I mean Lisa is a uh, slightly younger than Lola I mean if it was Lana and Lola then that that would be something um Lenny, uh, oh, Len and Rin, Feb, um, um, just, um, A lot of people say that um, when ever since the voice actress for um, um, for a lot of people say that whenever they hear the voice of Mabel in other roles like uh, Sarah Lynn or or um, that Triceratops in Toy Story, all they're hearing is Mabel.
me just um, make the can going to take me a bit of time Um, The thing with simpler drawings is that um, is that uh, you get you get them done very quick, unless you unless you are familiar with drawing the characters and you've drawn them many times. I haven't. I have drawn Gravity Falls a few times, but I um, I have drawn Gravity Falls a few times, but not often that I can memorize it. Sometimes I have to look. I had to look them up in order to remember exactly how it, how they look without getting any details wrong. When I do Star Butterfly, I at least um, I at least am familiar with, I'm super familiar with them, so I'm able to memorize. And just a little bit of that, and there, I think I'm done. I managed. Here's. Dipper and Mabel. Sorry if I went a bit off track, but there you go. Cancer's already done. Next up, Leo the Lion. Team America World Police. Isn't that this isn't that made by the same people who made South Park? And it's made by puppets and it's done in a style of the Thunder Birds uh, show i miss gravity falls it's my favorite show i've only seen about i've only seen the first half of season one i haven't gotten to the rest of that part yet <laughs> turn wheel into wildfire aslan simba S young simba or adult simba who's leo the lion i don't know is an astrology
Yeah, but which which one? The adult Simba or the or the young Simba? <clears throat> okay, young adult, young the MGM lion, the. Let's see, adult, adult, okay, young, adult, adult, okay, most people vote for, it's not gonna be easy, but I'll try, I'll try. Just moving him a bit because it's a Sometimes whenever I think of the Lion King, I the songs, one of the, the songs are some are usually the ones I think of the most. I don't think I can sing any. I don't know if I should sing any because I don't wanna I don't wanna risk any cop. I don't wanna risk the copyrights. Maybe a little snippet, perhaps. Um, and for anybody who's a fan of the Lion King or likes the Lion King in general. Or doesn't mind it. What what song do you like the most? Ah yes, be prepared. I went to MGM Las Vegas only three months ago. What is your? You don't have to. What is your favorite Disney song? You don't have to answer. That's a that's a tough question because there's so many I like. I'm, there's a lot. There's you got a friend in me, or we ain't never had a friend like me, or Prince Ali, 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 or. Hakuna Matata, or be prepared, or the bells of Notre Dame. 
I, there are some I really, really, in, uh, there's a lot of songs I really enjoy. Even almost there. Yeah, okay, I'm, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. Um, but if I had to choose, um, maybe, I'm not sure. I still, have, I still have no idea which one's my absolute favorite. Maybe I, um, maybe I like, um, maybe I like the Princess and the Frog songs the most. Maybe it's, uh, or maybe it's uh, the Jungle Book songs, the Bare Necessities, Lion King, Aladdin. The side, they're all, the songs are most, most of the Disney songs are really, really good. There are only a few, maybe there's a one or two I don't really like or I kind of forgot they existed, but for the most part, they are really, really good. So much that it's hard for me to choose an actual favorite. Um, but I will say, um, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, that the songs, some of the, most of the songs, they, they never leave my head. The, uh, the... He lives in you, do doom ba 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 ba. He lives in me, or is our bride, you and I, who we are one. One day you are being strong, you will be a king, or in you, Penny. Let your back and will go sweet. Oh, he's a bit. Oh, he's a bit too chubby. So, um, yeah, that's more like it. There we go, fellas. We have Simba. Remember who you are. You <laughs> remember. <laughs> and, um, um, you know, another thing I really love about The Lion King is the score. You know who the, who the composer is, Hans, Hans Zimmerman. He also composed for the Pirates of the Caribbean music. That ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. Okay, let's see here. Uh, and he also he also did for Skylander Sparrow's Adventure the main theme song. The da 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 da. Anyways, um, um, let's see what's let's see um, what what questions have we got um. Good Thoram Bowser's Fury. Oh, I haven't seen that. Um, oh no, copyrights will be unleashed. Oh, I was disappointed in the Be Prepared in the remake. I don't blame you. I too wasn't that satisfied. What do you think of my parody? You, for those who don't know, in 2014, during the release of Skylanders Trap Team, I made a parody of Be Prepared where I, um, I reworded a bit with um with chaos telling the villains what he's gonna do now that he's freed the villains hmm. uh, let's see uh, i like honor to us all and say hi um scars in every place i prefer the elephants which elements the elephants the look out Pink elephants on parade, hip be come, hip be the baby be, but ain't, dear dear big elephants on parade. 
What do I do? What do I do? What do I wish you of you? <laughs> um, um, so who, who do you want me to do for Virgo? Virgo. And for those who don't know, Virgo is, a, is an old, is a, a maiden, is an old Vic medieval term for a young unmarried woman. Let us say fair maiden. <laughs> Elements, elephants of harmony. Remind me to do a little fan art on that because you just made, you just made a, has anybody done that elephants of Elephants of Harmony. <laughs> I love to sing. Hex is a maiden. Okay, seriously, what's with, why do you want me to do Luigi Undead Element? This has nothing to do with this heart, with this live stream. You pick an Aquarius. You pick either the Aquarius. You cannot ask me to draw Luigi in the nun element just like that. It's got to fit. It's got to fit. Your cured berry from fresh meat. Hmm, cured berry. Oh, uh, too too difficult. Hmm, Princess Peach. I'm not sure if I can do Amy Rose. Last time I tried drawing Amy. Uh, Last time I tried drawing Amy, it didn't go too well, so I had to replace her with uh, Sonia. Uh, let's see, um, Princess Peach, Princess Peach. Cure Berry's too difficult, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to uh, take some creative liberties with something else. Let's see, um, uh, um, I have drawn Peach before, uh, twice. Um, Too close.
Hmm, I think I made her head a bit too hip. A bit too tall. Let me just bring it down to size. At one point, I did draw, do a draw Peach, but as a warrior princess, it was meant to reflect upon the fact that at one point, uh, the uh, people who made uh, Skylanders uh, superchargers, they wanted Peach to guest appear in. They wanted Peach to guest appear in Skylanders superchargers. But, but uh, Nintendo turned down the idea because they had a policy about human characters and they thought Peach felt a bit about using human characters and they thought Peach would feel would be, it would be out of character for Peach to be a warrior. I mean, her main characteristic is her being a damsel in distress. But then, but she may have, she may have gotten a better, she may have gotten a better role over time as a, uh, I mean, she, she started out as a bit of a damsel in distress, but in the later years, she became uh, more than that. She became uh, something else. I haven't caught up with, with a lot of Mario products, so I'm not sure. Uh, she, um, she may have other roles besides just the damsel in distress. Uh, she, she had, I mean, she was, play she was a sports girl in the Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, and uh, she, um, um, what else, what else, does anybody know any other role she had that's not Demsel in the stress seat? They just, they just, they just said that, no, we can't have her as a warrior princess, that makes her out of character. Oh, yeah, and she's also she was also a fighter in um, she was also a fighter in uh, Smash Bros Ultimate. Yeah, made her hair a bit messy. There you go, we get Peach, and I miss color. Uh, did I, um, no. Now, as for Libra, this one doesn't, she, now this one is, um, because Libra is literally just a weighing scale. He had Peach as a, Super Princess Peach had Peach as a character. Was that a real thing? I need to look that up. Uh, can you do Skylanders vs. Super Smash Bros. animation? I don't think that's possible since Donkey Kong and Bowser are both allied with Super Smash Bros. and Skylanders. There's in the Nintendo Wii, Wii U, and 3DS version of Superchargers, and the Wii U, the Wii U and Switch versions of Imaginators, you, Donkey Kong and Bowser are sided with Skylanders. 
Heck, in Imaginators, they're sided with Crash Bandicoot and Dr. Neocortex. Uh, too late. Too late for, for Sonata. <laughs> so, um, I was thinking for, for Libra, it's a, it can be, um, I was thinking for Libra, it can be a, a robot, because sometimes a robot can calculate your weight. Or you can have any character stepping on a weighing scale, like Garfield. Wait, or, wait, did somebody say, uh, doing a balance? Uh, Penny weighs seven, she is this fat and thin matter? Um, as long as one, as long as somebody gets plenty of exercise, then yes, being fat and thin does matter. <laughs> I know Donkey Kong and Bowser aren't allowed on the Xbox or PlayStation. Eh, yeah, sad but true. I need somebody for Libra with a Thanos with a balance sword. Let me have a look. Um, balance sword. Oh, okay. So, um, let me just find a picture of Thanos. The best I can do for Thanos is if he was in the, uh, superhero, um, squad show. I think that's my easiest I can do for Thanos. Um... In fact, funny enough, the th th the superhero squad and it was my introduction to the Infinity Gauntlet. As well as my introduction to Thanos. Um, in fact, uh, the superhero squad was on it was my introduction to a lot of Marvel characters, including Falcon, Mohawk. Modoc, Abomination. Um, back then, I was more of a DC guy, so the only thing really Marvelish I was into at the time was X Men and uh, and Spider Man. I knew a few. I knew I knew quite a number of villains from Spider Man, like um, Doc Doc Ock, Rhino, um, Green Goblin, Lizard, uh, Sandman. Uh, Mysterio, Vulture, I knew the Shocker, and, and so forth. I knew a lot of, I knew a lot of, um, I knew a lot of um, uh, Spider-Man villains. Not a lot of Marvel villains, but a lot of Spider-Man villains. And I knew quite a number of, uh, I knew quite a number of um, X-Men Characters. I I knew Wolverine. Um, it was mainly from X Men Evolution and a bit of the X Men nineteen TV series. Cyclops, Wolverine, Gambit, the Beast, Storm, uh, Rogue. I didn't I didn't know about Jubilee until I got older. Um, Magneto, Psylocke, um, the Juggernaut. Um, 
the juggernaut, the um, and Just making sure you know where the um, infinity gauntlet, the infinity stones are. Now, for those who don't, now here's a funny thing. Um, usually, usually in, um, usually in the, um, in the, since most of the, since uh, Marvel is usually a, usually more close to our world than the the superhero squad show is mainly most of its characters has have four fingers. So, um, so in order to position the uh, the in these infinity stones, rather than having the uh, big one in the middle, they all they all have um, they were all drawn like this, all six in a row, just to maintain some balance and to prop to make sure it indicates that Thanos has four fingers like um, like all the other squaddies. And <laughs> and in the superhero squad show, um, the reason why um, he um, he wanted the infinity gone, the reason why he wanted the infinity gauntlet, um, not only to just rule the universe, he can also start a uh, a chicken farm, which actually makes sense since in the original comics he was uh, shown to be a farmer. Heck, uh, in Avengers Endgame even shows Thanos living his dream on a farm. And the, the saddest thing is that the Superhero Squad show is a better is a better take on Teen Titans Go than Teen Titans Go. <laughs> The chibi superhero thing done right. It's not perfect. I mean, it can have its bad moments, sure. I mean, it has its limited animation. Okay, we've just past the two hour mark. I'm still gonna continue until I uh, finish, until I finish every, until I finish all the uh, signs. Let me just take a look at um
like I said before, this is the best incarnation I can try and replicate things because he's a, he's a little spit simple and I'm able to remember Let me just uh, stretch that sword a bit. <laughs> Did you know there's this some um, thing called the Infinity Sword? In the Superhero Squad show, the Infinity Sword is said to be a powerful thing. It was said to help uh, rule the universe. Um, it turns out um, it was only... Never mind, um, I'll have to talk about that later. So here we go, we have Thanos, not only with the Infinity Gauntlet, but also with a balancing sword. <laughs> it's not a bad choice, you can draw Scorpios on the battle bots. Did you, know that, did you know that Thanos has a helicopter? I thought he had a spaceship, so um, let's see. Teen Titans go. <laughs> Space, soul, reality, time, power, and mind. Do you hate the episode from Russian Without Love? What episode is that? Is that a show? Is that the same? I like the superhero squad show. Chicken is thin and cow. I don't want to talk about him. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, who's angry? Who's angry? Who's angry? There's no need to act that angry, okay? Remember, it's, um, um, okay, now here we come to Scorpio. Now, here's an interesting thing about Scorpio. Um, before, before, um, before many of us recognize, many of us recognize it as a, uh, a scorpion. Um, I'm just gonna, let me just, I'll be, I'll be right back. I just want to look up something for a minute. Uh, Scorpio. Um, let's see, uh, uh, the, um, so in, so here's a funny thing, um, Scorpio actually has about, um, has about, uh, seven different animal symbols, um, it's not just a scorpion, scorpion, Scorpio can also be a spider or a lizard or a serpent or a wolf, an eagle, a dove, or a phoenix. I didn't know about the phoenix part until I was watching this, um, I was watching this, um, thing, thing called, um, uh, Marco Polo Jr., which is the, f which is, um, a 1970s Australian animated film. The, uh, first animate f animated feature to be made in Australia, and it showed the constellations, and it says Scorpio as a, f it showed Scorpio as a phoenix. And according to according to what I'm looking at, um, Scorp the the phoenix is the best representation for Scorpio, while while the scorpion, the one we all know, is actually the the second worst representation for Scorpio because the scorpion is actually an immature is supposed to represent an immature brat. And I say second worst because the third is um, the, because the spider is said to be the worst. There's a an infant, a child. The lizard is uh, the lizard one is makes Scorpio more relaxed. The serpent is uh, extremely dangerous, but um, unless unless the loved ones are being threatened, 
the wolf is what strong rise and protective the eagle is the more mature and the phoenix is the ultimate goal as a scorpion it was uh the um the most peaceful of all scorpion sim scorpio symbols that's what i looked up um all right <laughs> You know, fitting for how Scorpion from Mortal Kombat it is of the fire element. Um, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna add in a little bit more detail into Scorpion rather than just having him look like his classic counterpart. I'm gonna... And in my own, a little bit of my own spin to Scorpion. Um, and as a bit of a reference to the fact that in, in every Mortal Kombat game, the Mortal Kombat combatants, they almost always have um, a character custom, a character costume change. They always keep adding in new different designs for each of the contestants. Um, for for example, um, Scorpion has um, sometimes has a bit more Scorpion-esque patterns on his um, has uh, has more Scorpion-esque patterns on his um, his um, suits, his um, clothing and stuff. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna add in a phoenix. <laughs> and the funny thing is that Scorpion also is able to res was able to come back from the dead after Quan Chi murdered him. Oh uh did I spoil that? I'm sorry. I'm I mean Sub Zero supposedly murdered him. And thus he wants revenge on on not on Sub Zero. And the Lin Kuei. White Lantern resurrects Scorpion. Did it? Oh, the, let me... So, what does the White Lantern represent? I mean, I know that... Um, I know I know a few of the Lantern's representations. I mean, the Green Lantern is supposed to represent justice, while the um, Red Lanterns are supposed to represent uh, fear. I mean, I mean, I mean uh, uh, anger and wrath and rage um the um the um the uh, what was it um, the green the blue lanterns were supposed to represent peace and uh calmness uh the uh yellow lanterns represent fear uh the the uh purple or pink lanterns i think or the sapphires they are they're meant to represent love and romance. You mean Quan Chi as Sub Zero Skill Scorpion's family? Spoilers! <laughs> um. Um. Uh, what was it? What was I again? Um. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, um, White Lantern represents the life and its opposite counterpart, Black Lanterns represent death. Oh yeah, I know that. Um, oh yeah, um, I mean, uh, there's also the orangey, Orange Lantern. That represents greed. Heck, there's one particular red, la gr Orange Lantern who kind of acts like Gollum, the my precious, my precious. <laughs> hmm. 
Actually, I um, I'll just have him as a. You you know I've watched and played Mortal Kombat stuff. Yeah, me too. I played a lot of Mortal Kombat stuff. The first game I ever played was Deadly Alliance, and the strangest thing, I I first played it at school when I was turning thirteen. Somebody was playing Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance at school, and I wanted to have a go at it because it looked pretty cool. The first character I played was Reptile. And he came. He became a bit of a staple to me. Hmm. Um. Um, if Danger Mouse was made as a Skylander, who what what would he be? Um, I think he'd be a tech element. I think. There we go, fellows. Here's my take on Scorpion. And uh, let me just add in a bit of a. Uh, let me um. Let me add in on the back. It's on the back. Actually, you know what? I'll I'll add that later. So that's Scorpio done. Now, now here's another thing about. Here's the next one. Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius is meant to represent, and two things: an archer and a centaur. But for me, I think the archer part is the one I like to focus on the most. I think the centaur part is just icing on the cake. It doesn't have to be a centaur. It can be, it can be another, it can be just an archer. Just put Thanos uh, here. Such good looking armor. <laughs> Um, so which, what do you want me to do for Sagittarius? Which character do you think is, a uh, Eclipse, uh, Butterflies, and Archer? Hmm. Let's see. Mm. Right here on RuneScape. Ah, uh, there's Flameslinger. Hunter, I have no choice. Robin Hood. The Disney one? How about Robin Hood, the Disney one? Green Arrow, the Brave and the Bull version. Hmm. <laughs> Wily e. Coyote is an archer? <laughs> have you ever played RuneScape before? I think I have heard of RuneScape, but I don't. I never played it. Um, I don't know what it's about. Let me have a look. Uh, rune... RuneScape. Oh, it's it's a little bit like uh, a little bit like um, um, a massive multiplayer online game. Let's see. Wonder if any has anybody compared compared this to uh, uh, 
World of Warcraft. Hmm. It says on the web. Yes, the Disney version. All right, that's if that's what you want. Yeah, did you? They they said you know that. Uh, did you know that? Um, did you know that Robin Hood was the inspiration for? for Zootopia, confirmed by the director himself. He said that when he heard about, uh, when he heard about, um, he heard, he, he said that when he, when, when he, um, when he paid his respects to Brian Bedford, the uh, original act, the actor from Robin Hood who passed away in 2016 due to cancer. Yeah, that year was a was a was a was very was very sad. Hmm. Um. Let me see. Um. I don't think I did it. Hmm. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Trying to make um You know, here's another in here's another bit of history. I was thinking about making a Skylanders parody of Robin Hood, taking notes not just from the Disney version, but uh, from a variety of different uh, incarnations of Robin Hood. The uh, the movie the even the movie that my mom grew up with, the one where there was a lot more merry men than just Little John, some of the old ones, some of the best, other best ones. I wanted to see if I could, if I could um, try and uh, do a, a Guylander parody of Robin Hood. I mean, I had a lot of casting. I the only problem I was having is finding the right casting for. Who could be Robin Hood and who could be um, who could be Robin Hood and who could be um, Little John? I mean, if I mean, I was I was thinking maybe for Robin Hood, maybe Spyro would be involved. But who would be his uh, his who would be Little John? Would it be Trigger Happy? Would it be Gilgrunt? Would it be Sparks? Eruptor? It was a it was a it was a tough decision. Hmm. I thought maybe maybe not not trigger happy as Robin Hood, but um, maybe not trigger happy as Robin Hood, but um, maybe maybe not trigger happy as Robin Hood, but maybe um, but um, trick but. Maybe not Sparrow as Robin Hood, but Trigger Happy as Robin Hood and Gilgrunt as Little John. Or or maybe um, or maybe um, um, or maybe or maybe Tree Rex as Little John and Washbuckler as Robin Hood, or maybe a Flame Slinger as Robin Hood, or. Um, and um, I still have no idea who would be Little John, or maybe not uh, a Skylanders parody. Maybe um, may 
I even tried other ideas. I tried a Crash Bandicoot version, having Crash as Robin Hood and Crunch as, as Little John. And I also figured out I also figured out a bit of who would be the other characters, like um, Dr. Neo Cortex would definitely be Prince John, and um, Hiss would be either Engine or Embryo, and uh, the Sheriff of Nottingham would probably be Tiny. Um, uh, Trigger and Nutsy. Um, the crocodile captain from the, uh, you know, the, uh, attention, everyone, the honorable contestants are the honorable sheriff of Nottingham. That one I'm thinking, easy pick, Dingo Doll. Oh wait, maybe Trigger and Nutsy could be played by the Komodo brothers. Either that or Pinstripe and, um, somebody else. Um... And then I also tried um, another version. I tried I tried the Loud House version where I had Lincoln Loud as um, I had Lincoln Loud as Robin Hood and Clyde as Little John. And uh, easy pick for who would be that rooster, or the guy who plays the the narrator. You know the uh, well, we folks of the Animal Kingdom have our own version. It's about what really happened in Sherwood Forest. Um, that I, and the perfect choice would be Luna. Um, she might have to either she, she either might have to sound like her regular self, or she might want to sound British because uh, you know you know Luna she, Luna Loud. She likes to she at times likes to speak in a British voice. It's because uh, because she's uh, heavily influenced by British rock groups like. Uh, like something that cemented parody the Rolling Stones, hence Mick Swagger, which is a parody of Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones. Hmm. I think, um, Too, too fat. I always have trouble drawing skirts or something that doesn't wear pants. Characters don't usually wear pants. I often have trouble with those. Which is why I prefer to draw shorts or pants or jeans even. And it gets even worse when I'm animating. Um, nah, too, too long, too, too long. Yeah, I think that will do. Not my best, but, um... And finally, we come down to our last one, Capricorn. Now, in traditional mythology, Capricorn is a sea goat. But in this occasion, I'm allowing any, any type of goat, any character that's a goat. Now, it looks like a goat, has features of a goat, can dress up as a goat, anything. Um, that, don't think that's what Prince John would say. I think that would be more of King Richard or Friar Tuck. Uh, huh, Tapicorn, Tapicorn, Tapicorn. My singing monsters. Hmm. What else? Um, splat, bitey from, uh, oh god, not the, 
that though you have to have do you really have to have pleasant goat and the big bell wolf um, all right all right all right deal if that's what you want um I know we've passed the uh, one hour and 30 minute mark, but uh, I still want to finish, I really want to finish this, so let's, um, I think that's about it and Capricorn is done now fellas there are two different options for this one you can either ask you I can either quit this stream now or you can go with the with the very bonus um, astrology figure called Ophiuchus the snake bearer 
And there's been now the reason why I bring up Ophiuchus is because um, there has been researches and studies that Ophiuchus may have been a thirteenth member of the astrology, and it has been it has been documented that Scorpio was said to be um, only taking about a week, and Scorpio had, was only only had one week while Ophiuchus took up the rest of it. Took, a re took up the rest of Scorpio's um, time. But then later was changed that Scorpio should be the one to get all the glory and Ophiuchus was, was taken out. <laughs> so who's got, who bears the snakes? Who bear, okay, so who, who wants me to do, who wants me to represent Ophiuchus, the snake bearer? or a snake charmer, or anybody who's associated with snakes, or he is part snake, kind of like a Medusa. Rattle, shake, rattle, shake. I kind of, um, I want to, uh, Mega Man is Ophiuchus? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. God. <laughs> Let me Okay, I will admit, I'm not really good at drawing. I mean, since I've seen so many different incarnations of Mega Man, I mean, there's the, the, um, there's the cartoon one, there's the, the one a lot of you are familiar with, which is presented in uh, Super Smash Brothers. There's the bad box art one, which is prominently featured in Street Fighter X Tekken. And uh, there's even um, a um, there are any more different incarnations of Mega Man out there? Let me know. I think the best fan art I've ever seen of Mega Man is uh, Homer and Bart dressing up as Mega Man. Homer and um, Bart dressing up as uh, Mega Man in his classical, in his uh, in his well known in his well known appearance, while Homer dresses up as the bad box art Mega Man. Man seems a, seems quite simple to draw. Um, I I forget. Did the cartoon Mega Man become um, a meme? I mean, I did remember seeing an intro where where the um, they incorporate so many character memes memes as as, uh, as, as Mega Man characters. For example. Uh, Robot, they somebody had Dr. Rival Robotnik, the Kingus Man, play um play as um play as Mega Man.
Hmm. By the way, has anyone noticed that in the um, in the within the Jungle Book, Car seems to be seems to have changed his design. Has seems to have changed his design dr drastically. For ex I mean, um, I mean, in in the um, when he first appeared, appeared before um, stopped by Bagheera before he could uh, before he could before Mowgli could be eaten. And you know the scene where he's like, Ka! How did Ka? Then, then Ka's eyes were, were a lot more separate. While, while when he, when he re returns and when he sings the song, Trust in me, just in me. Um, that's when his eyes were a bit more closer. And apparently that became a bit of a staple for Ka's design. I mean, it was used. It was the same design used in um, in the uh, the Jungle Book Two, the Jungle Book video games like Groove Party, um, the one where um, uh, definitely not the live action one. The live action one was meant to be more realistic. Although Ka is like a, is like a, like a Titano Boa in was more is more like a Titano Boa in the live action remake rather than the uh, rather than looking like a like a was it a Burmese or a royal was it a Indian rock python that's it that's it and here's a funny thing. In the original books, uh, Ka was meant to serve as Mo is one of Ma Mowgli or Mowgli in the original books mentors. The 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 Disney version only with of which the Disney version had Ka in, in his um, in his villainous ways. Uh, I didn't know. I don't know if I did a good job of Mega Man, but I think I'm satisfied with with Ka. And that's about it, fellas. That's the that's the final that's the finale for this um for this um for this live stream. Now let me just answer some questions and we should be Okay, first let, let's take a look at what we got here. We got uh that uh, racer turtle guy f from the Mario Kart with a sad cloud full of water leaking, he represents Aquarius. We have Dory from Finding Nemo, she represents uh, Pisces. Spyro in his Mega Ram form from Skylander Swap Force, he represents Aries. Um, the Terra Bull from Robot Wars, he represents Taurus. Um, Mabel and Dipper Pines from Gravity Falls, they represent Gemini. Ebera from the Godzilla series, he represents uh, Cancer. Simba from The Lion King, he represents Leo. Um, Virgo, um, um, for Virgo, it's Peach from the Princess Peach from the Mario series, she represents Virgo. Um, Thanos from Marvel, drawn in the superhero squad style, he represents Libra. Scorpio, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, he represents Scorpio. Um, Robin Hood, he, from Disney's Robin Hood, he represents Sagittarius. Splat from Skylander Superchargers, he represents Capricorn. And Mega Man, and K Mega Man from the series of the same name and Ka from the Jungle Book representing the bonus uh, uh, um, const constellation Ophiuchus. Now all I gotta do is just answer some questions, and then I'm good. Um, no, you can you can ask me any question. I can't do any requests anymore, but I'll I'll answer some questions. Why is car Why is car a girl in the live action movie? I don't know. Even in in Andy Serkis's adaptation, he's also a girl. Um, you getting ready for my debut single? Have you heard of Chadwick Bossman's death? I have, I have, and I heard, I heard that they are still going to go with Black Panther two, 
but they won't recast him, they won't use CGI, they'll probably have somebody else to take over as uh, Black Pan as an as the new Black Panther, as in one to one to carry the name of Black Panther. I have it has happened in the comics. I mean, I have I do own one Black Panther comic book that has a female Black Panther. Have you watched any of the Land Before Time movies? I have. I've watched, uh, I think I've seen about uh, eight of them. I've seen eight Land Before Time movies. The first one, The Great Valley Adventure, The Time of the Great Giving, uh, Journey, um, uh, the, the one with where Littlefoot meets uh, a female oh, Apatosaurus, and then there's this Dinosuchus who wants to eat them. I've forgotten the name of it. Um, the bit, the mysterious island. <clears throat> um, and um, uh, actually, I've I've only I, actually I've yet to actually I do own number six and number seven, but I haven't yet watched them yet. I did see the the eighth one, the big freeze. At least it's not like uh, Grand. Which is motion capture. I take request event for a limited. Did you guys miss me? Um, what's your favorite mobile game when mobile games didn't have to suck? Well, I was highly addicted to Battlecast. Yes, I don't know. It just felt like a bit of a fun experience with the uh, cards and stuff. But, um. Um. Um, thoughts on Stitch the Anime? Eh. Um, Dino Trucks. I have heard of it, I never watched it. Um, no Searching Snake is a, um, from Sunjay. I hate snakes. Snake, my father. Hypnotize. I hate them. Joy Squidward, Jungle Book had someone. I seen, I seen it from Hong Kong. I see. Um, in the tenth anniversary of Skylands, what would you like to do? Um, I still got plenty of options for that, fellas. You can ask me to do a parody of We Are the World, or have characters do uh, something epic, or maybe you can come up with something. Or well, maybe you can come up with something right down the story, and I'll see if, if it. Go it fits well for a story. What's the next time going to be? I'm glad you asked. Now I got two options for my next um, my next live stream. It's going to it's either on February 1st, which I uh, which the theme for that is something really sweet and really tasty. Or I can go with February 7th instead for a bit of a sport and to coincide a special event happening in February. I heard this happens like once every year. There's this um, there's this um, sporting, there's some sort of sporting event um, that is very prominent in America. It's when they have a lot of trailers, a lot of uh, performers performing. Although it was a bit of a disappointment a few for a few Super Bowls like uh, there was one which was meant to honor um, Steven Hillenburg, I think the creator of SpongeBob, but they only showed a, a small clip and that was about it. They didn't show sweet the true sweet victory song. They didn't show um, it, was a, it was very sad. Yeah, did no, no, that's not what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a sporting event. It's a, a super, super bowl. That's what I'm referring to. The super bowl. You want me to go on February first for something really sweet and tasty, or do you want me to do a February seventh instead for um, a soup, a sports themed, a sports themed uh, live stream to coincide with the super bowl? I will say I will have a bit of a word on that Valentine's Day one when we uh, get to when we get to that live stream. I won't say anything about that now, but uh, 
Um, I'm just, um, let's just say, um, I don't have much to say about that one just yet. So, the su oh, Super Bowl it is, okay? Thank you all for joining me on this. Thank you all for suggesting me these lovely pictures. Thank you all for giving me these lovely questions for me to answer. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next time in the next live stream. I hope you've enjoyed.